Hey YouTube, welcome back to Spark Starter Channel. I noticed I've been getting a lot of views on a video I posted last year on my Virus Blaster, and I thought I'd give you an update on the Virus Blaster. So, this is the tube you may have seen in the video. It is a UVC ultraviolet light tube. Um, it's 40 watts. Uh, input is 110 volts into a regular uh, socket. And I made a comment about smelling ozone. Now, UV may ionize the air enough to create a little bit of ozone, but this guy has a built-in ozone generator, so it, it it has some ozone that comes out of here to add to its disinfectant uh, powers. Uh, the I ordered it from China. This is the box that it came in. Um, not sure if this is helpful, but this is the contact info for the company. If you're interested to order some of these 40 watt disinfectant bulbs, and I'll try to post a, uh, a link that has a uh, you know, reference where you can find some bulbs that are similar to this. And a minor update on the control circuit. If you watch my previous video, uh, you notice that my little radio um, remote control transceiver, or it's actually just a receiver, it doesn't send anything, um, was powered by a 9-volt battery. So that was kind of annoying because my 9-volt would always die out. So I got this little 9-volt wall plug. And this is a little adapter I came up with on the 3D printer. It allows you to uh, I just soldered to the AC prongs on that little wall wart. Uh, the turned wire here is just to, for extra wire, just to manage the extra wire. Tapped it into the um, AC terminals little 9 volt ad adapter connector and then that powers a little receiver so that when I hit my remote so I don't have the uh, UV light plugged in right now uh, and this is the solid state relay this is a SSR 25 DA solid state module and uh, it takes 3 to 32 volts input DC uh, you can see the plus and minus terminals labeled, and it uh, you can put in 24 to 380 volts AC, and it will switch it on and off. So that is the control unit. Just kind of uh, fixed it up a little bit. But what I really want to go over in this video is the Virus Blaster Mini I came up with. So the Mini is a 15 watt UVC tube. And I just cut uh, on table saw, I just cut a piece of PVC, cut a little section out of it. I line the inside with the aluminum tape, just give a little extra reflectivity. And I cut a hole just the right size for my socket to fit through. And you just get one of these little guys at the hardware store. It's a plug to socket converter, just screw that in, and the, uh, pretty much the socket tightens against the PVC and tightens against the housing of the UVC bulb and just kind of holds tight in there. And then just lap this on and I have a little handle here. And, uh, this guy it's pretty good. And of course, the reason we have it enclosed like this is because you don't want to expose your eyes to the UVC light that comes out of here because it is a uh, uh, disinfectant. It'll damage not only the viruses and bacteria, but it could also damage some of your skin cells. So you just want to avoid shining it on yourself as much as you can. But I found this really useful for um, irradiating packages. Since some of these... Uh, Viruses coming out uh, can s survive on surfaces for a while. I thought it would be a good idea to just UV the, the mail before I open it. So I usually bring the mail down the basement and hit it with the UV light. So 
So I'm just, just like to do a little sweep of the packages. Just illuminate all their surfaces with the UVC light. Kill any bacteria. And what I have in this package, um, I'll show you. I'm going to do a later uh, video involving UVC light with what's in this package. Some petri dishes. So we can grow some bacteria on these petri dishes and then expose it to UV light and do some experiments to see how well the UV light works. Uh, I got a little kit that includes swabs so we can swab different things and put the bacteria onto the petri dishes and watch it grow. So uh, oh, it even comes with comes with a little instruction pack here, some experimental procedures. So that's what comes in one of these kits if you uh, order it. I'll see if I can find the link for it and share with you if you want to do some petri dish UV light experiments. So yeah, you just have the the plastic dish, and there's what's called auger. That's what uh, lets the bacteria and cells and things grow. So, so I'm going to put everything away for now. All right, and I wanted to conclude with a nice demo of uh, the power of ultraviolet light. So I'm going to demonstrate the photoelectric effect here. This is an electroscope. I may do a separate video just about the electroscope in the near future, but it has a little bit of gold leaf attached to aluminum foil. I have a 3D printed lid for my jar, and I have a copper plate on top with a little bit of solder soldering the copper plate to the copper wire that suspends the gold leaf. So what I'm going to do is rub this comb on my arm, touch the electroscope, put the comb down, and so I deposited some electric charge on the gold leaf. Now what I'm going to do next is turn on the UVC light. So what you're seeing is the photoelectric effect. The ultraviolet from the UVC light is strong enough to hit the electrons on the surface of that copper and eject them from the metal. Another demo with the comb. Depositing the charge. Applying the UV. And I'd like to do a, a longer video on the photoelectric effect, but this is just uh, intended to be a quick demo of the power of the UVC lamps. So I hope you subscribe. We've got a few interesting videos coming up. And uh, yeah, come back to the Sparktar channel. Thank you.